all the scenes are gone all right, so hopefully we get a bit no bad and then that's me changed for the weed patch dance now. So working it to do that. So that's the first well, not the first but one one of the fight scenes in it. So really nervous but got to get out here to get it done. Two are better than one. But how can one be warm alone? And if anyone should prevail against him, why they shall withstand him? Two are better than one. But if one should fall, his fellow shall lift him up. Woe oh, to the man who is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him. Brilliant. Uh, it's just everything worked out like I thought it would. No hassles, so everything was brilliant. Can't wait till tomorrow now. <laughs> it's just honestly, it's something different. I wasn't expecting the buzz I was going to get. Oh, just sheer adrenaline popped right through. And it was brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to move it to this cheese off my face. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, honestly. I am privileged to be with Packham, Neil, Neil Packham. and Ellie, who made this all possible. Yeah, that was fantastic. You played a bride there. Absolutely played a Thank you. Line. Absolutely immense. It was never exciting, <laughs> uh, tearful. Every emotion uh, you can think of because um, it's a huge, huge boy. But the support you get from everyone is fantastic. And I'm so glad that I'll give it a try to do it. For our first night, it really went really, really well. There was a couple of wee mishaps, but everybody covered it so brilliantly yeah. all together as a team. So it was really, really good for the whole night. Every one of them, really, really proud of them. It was great to speak to Sean afterwards and see the joy, you know, on his face and how exhausted Patricia Preston must be and what an extraordinary journey she's been on with the Jode family and their story and John McNeil playing Parr and uh, they've all been on this amazing journey and that was just the first night. We've still got four more shows to go so hopefully uh, you know, this, this stands us in good stead for the next few nights. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown, good Lord? So I went off and I said it last night, and it's been great for me. I loved it. Let's go down, let's go down, come on. It was a wonderful experience. I thoroughly enjoyed the learning process, but I'm very glad it's all over. <laughs> well, as I say at the start, uh, all I used to do was sitting in the house, doing nothing, feeling depressed for myself. Now, 
I've just got so much confidence and it's just boosted my ego and it's just, that's how I want to come back because it makes me feel so good and it, it's a privilege to be here and I'm really glad Neil and Ellie asked me back because it's just been life changing because it's something that I, I really want to do now and I'm going to try and make a go of it. I miss the banter, uh, the hilarity, it's the people being around us, you know. It's a good feeling, yeah. Just being surrounded by strangers, and it's, it's a great, great feeling. It was exhilarating, it was brilliant. It was sad, but it was just, just getting that last curtain call and taking the bow, it was unbelievable. It was a really brilliant buzz, it was, it was fantastic. As I went down in the river to pray It's, it's given me discipline, so it has to play after myself. And I love the George family more than I love my own family. <laughs> so I'm ready to adopt it, because they've all been so kind to me. A bit lost, but, but I've got other things to concentrate on. I've got a business to, to hang me up. Uh, find out about marketing for my garden business for next year. I've got driving to do, I've got my theory. I've got transport to go on the road, so it's something to work, work to, you know. So it's all, it's all new to me, 45 years of age. and. Uh, First time I've ever been happy, really, in the, the past 20 years. It's great. And then also the thought, the struggle that people went through. I think we think we struggle because I'm waiting half an hour on the bus. And they're thinking my mammoth journey, 3,000 miles losing members of the family, having to bury members of the family, bringing in a member of the family and then losing that member of the family again. And just that, uh, because you've got to go and everything we do is aimed right at going on. So I think that's what it'll take. Each day is a new day and at least I wouldn't be travelling 3,000 miles. And if I can do it, then so will I. <laughs> You get so many different things from it and I think the most important thing that you do develop is confidence and I think that's one key kind of ingredient in life that you can take with you wherever you go and the fact that I did get a job from it says, you know, proves that to me and I can only put that down to the fact that, you know, I, I was allowed to come onto this project and be part of it. So. I just thought I was boring and when I got on with MD, uh, just dead isolated myself and it was, when I think to myself now, I think I was just being stupid because if I can do something like the, uh, the grapes are off, I must be able to do other things like that. Because I was, you never say never, I suppose, because if things like this can happen to you, you must be able to get other jobs.